Chances are, when you played Fortnite for the first time, it was on an old gen console. It was also probably between three to five years ago, and gaming has changed a lot since then. For example, I personally went from playing on a PS4 Slim to playing on this crazy gaming PC. And I know millions of other players have also upgraded to the next gen consoles that have doubled the FPS and way better performance. Well, I know that you old gen gamers are still out there grinding. So in this video, I'm finding the best settings for old gen Fortnite. To figure this out, I'm setting my baseline settings at this, which is my exact sense on PC. Then after I play a few games on this sensitivity, I should be able to see if I need to make these settings higher or lower or what to change. So for the first time in years, let's try to play a 60 FPS Fortnite match on the PS4. Dude, I can already tell this is gonna be rough. Bang, let's go. First PS4 kill. All right, about to drop on this guy. <laughs> PS4 actually feels so weird right now. Bang, let's go. Ooh, okay. Aim assist is definitely strong on console. I feel like I can't even see the players that well, and I'm hitting them for a lot. 49, nice. Oh my dude, what is that? All right, I need to find heals though. No, I'm dead. There's no heals over here. Dang it. Those settings kind of worked well though. I had four elims and I was hitting ridiculous shots. For those of you that still do play on old gen consoles, I will say that there's a big difference if you play on PC normally and then you go back to an old gen console like I am right now. It makes you feel a lot weirder compared to players that have just been on old gen console for like years. For the same reason, I could be kind of bad right now. Dang it. Yeah, this is really hard. Honestly, didn't expect it to be this much harder. Okay, I think this is the last game that I need to figure out these settings. I mean, bro, that aim assist is actually ridiculous. That guy has a drum, so I do not want to get in his face. Nice shot. And... Bang, wow. I fully understand that console, especially old gen, needs high aim assist, but some of this aim honestly feels insane. I guess it does matter that you're fighting PC players that are doing this in pubs. But I mean, holy. How do I just walk through that? And I feel like I wasn't even aiming on that guy. I fully thought I was dead right there. I thought I missed the shot. Dude, if you're an old gen console Fortnite player and you've never played it on PC, I promise you the first time you play Fortnite on a PC, your mind will be blown. The experience is at least 10 times better than that. And that's not a diss on you guys at all. Bro, how many people are actually here? Is that a third person? I saw those footsteps last second. Yeah, bro, I'm dead. Bro, I still just max pump that guy. So after playing a few of these PS4 games, just kind of get used to the 60 FPS feel again. I think I've figured out the best old gen console settings. And here's the grand reveal. Yeah, that's right. They haven't changed. After playing all my games, the same settings that I use on PC feel absolutely perfect on PS4 as well. Funny enough, I use these same settings on PS5. So I guess if you use these settings, you really don't have to change it across the board. And it's 2.0 on both build and edit. It's 43 on look horizontal and vertical with a 2% boost. Then for ADS, it's 7 on horizontal, 9 on vertical, and a 1% turning boost. It's a linear input curve, and it's 10% dead zone. I honestly thought that on PS4, I'd have to turn my sensitivity up because it's a little more slower, it's a little laggier. I sort of thought that'd be similar to the Nintendo Switch. This would be way too fast for the Switch. But it turns out that these settings are also a great speed for the PS4. And I mean, to be completely honest, I think that even if the settings were a little different, it wouldn't really matter because the aim assist is so incredibly strong. And these guys both left. So now that I know I for sure have the best settings I can possibly have on PS4, let's once again ready up and try to get a PS4 60 FPS console win. I know it's gonna be difficult, but we're gonna make this happen. I mean, dude. But I guess at the same time, you get hit for more when you get shot because you have a slower reaction time. Yep, that's just insane. I think I'm going to keep saying it on every single kill. Even though I can hit some of these same shots on PC. 
I think the big difference is that on PC, I can like tell that it's my aim that's doing the work. On PS4 right here, I can honestly not tell if it's my aim that's good or if I'm just hitting these shots because of the aim assist. It honestly feels like it's the aim assist more than my aim. It's crazy. Wait. You know, as I'm sitting here playing this, another thing that I'm realizing is that when I played Fortnite on PS4, it was Chapter 1. And I think back then in Chapter 1, the game was way more optimized for old-gen consoles, especially compared to now. So I honestly think that that's only adding to the difficulty of playing on an old-gen console. The game is just not as meant for it now. I can be sitting here talking and still fry someone that hard. Only have four bullets. No. Let's go. Bro, the audio is so weird. I actually cannot tell where this guy's at. Oh my. Bro, who was that other guy just fighting? No way. I can't believe I just got fried that hard. You know what, you old gen players, I want to show you something. So I just played on PS4 for about two hours, and you kind of saw my overall skill level in that. Well, now if you take a look, my game looks way smoother. And that's because I just moved over to my PC. So on my PC right now, I'm running about triple the frames of my PS4. I would say there's about five times less input lag on the controller. And I would also say there's probably around three times less the amount of aim assist. But you saw how good I was on PS4. Four. Now let's compare that to how good I am on PC. Mind you, I'm the same player. I have the same settings and I have essentially the same control. This is just the PS5 version of the one I was using on the PS4. Yeah, not quite the same amount of aim assist right there. But definitely way smoother builds. And at the same time, it just feels so much better. Now, obviously, everyone knows that a PC has better graphics, better frames, better performance than a PS4. Or any console, for that matter. But I don't think people quite understand that being on PC can actually make you, like, more skillful. I mean, even though I'm good enough to do what I just did right there and sort of edit piece control that guy. On PS4, I'm literally just not capable of doing that. I would say that it's just too laggy, and overall, it's just, you're not able to do it. It doesn't make you a bad player or anything. It just limits so much of what you can do. Oh my. And on PC, you really don't need that strong of aim assist. I don't think that guy realized he was literally up on one tiny build. I mean, everyone that watched the video this far saw how bad I was struggling on PS4 to even make it to endgame. And now I come over here, and I mean, this is the last player I have left. I mean, I just got an easy win. I thought that was just something interesting to show. Well, those were definitely the best old-gen console settings. Take advantage of them while you're still playing on a PS4 or Xbox One. And I highly suggest, if you get the chance, upgrade to either next-gen console, or if you really want to go for it, go all the way up to a PC. It's definitely a crazy difference. So remember to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.